What's going on, everybody? Out here in my shop this morning. Uh, continuing on the uh, Barney 5.7 build. Still a lot of cleaning going on. So I'm cleaning parts, installing parts. Um, I've got to go to the store this morning. I ran out of degreaser. Uh, some of this stuff. I mean, I'm doing part of it in my parts tank. And then I'm using the degreaser outside. And... Uh, Man, this is a lot of crap. Uh, a lot of people were asking about the block. Uh, would it have been better off to send it off and have it hot tank? I mean, I cleaned on this block six times and I cleaned out all the oil passages and everything else. So the block came out good. So I didn't need to go take it to have it hot dipped. Of course, that was on the back of my mind, but I did get it clean. Um, but basically right now, I'm just uh, cleaning, cleaning, and cleaning. But uh, on the heads, I've done three rounds on the heads already. I'm going to spin the phone around. And they're looking better. But like I said, i got to go get some more parts cleaner. And I still got some areas i got to clean up. But considering... What I started out with, it's a night and day improvement. Same with the oil pan. Y'all saw how sludged up that was in previous videos. So she's almost cleaned out. I gotta do another round on that. But yeah, I mean, still a lot of cleaning going on. And uh, that's eating up a lot of my time. Um, but yeah, uh, she's coming together. The, the goal is to have this thing all put together and installed this weekend so you can have the truck for Monday. But yeah, I still got to clean the rockers, assembly, the push rods. So they're still pretty gacked up. And then over here, I started putting the pistons in. And these things were pretty nasty as well. Uh, started putting the sensors back on the motor. But here's the... I've got these pistons soaking. But there's just so much carbon buildup and everything on them right now. So I'm letting them soak. And then I'm turning around. And cleaning them off because I don't want to put dirty pistons back in. Uh, especially when you're putting rings... And, and stuff like that out there you want everything to be really cleaned and uh but yeah i mean she's coming along give me a little drink of coffee here i'm still trying to wake up uh, and uh, so also so many other questions i've been having too why am i doing an mds delete you know because of the purpose of that system is to help improve the fuel mileage. Well, it's a preference. Okay, me personally, I don't like the fact that my motor keeps kicking out of cylinders. And uh, I don't mind losing two miles, three miles to the gallon. Um, I did the M MDS delete in my charger. I went from 23, 24 miles to the gallon to 21, 22. But at least I know it's there all the time. I don't have that... The, thing in my mind that that system is going to fail i'm going to have to replace sensors and uh, and a lot of people do the mds delete and the other thing is too with the lift of failure the cam failure and stuff i mean it happens on both non-mds or yeah mds motors and mds um but it seems like the percentage rate is higher with the mds set up that's just my personal opinion and uh, and for me i mean it's just you know it's a preference um when i discussed with the my neighbor slash my customer on this deal um he wanted to do way with the mds system because he does a lot of towing and stuff and he didn't want that system to fail so we opted and did the mds delete and uh you know it is what it is um the other questions that were asked was um 
Let's see, what was it? Uh, they're asking about the bearings. Okay, this kit I got from SMR Racing um, comes with the cam lifters and stuff, and then the gaskets. Um, they're from Engine Tech. Uh, the bearings are from Power Seal. They're a coated bearing. I personally haven't had an issue with uh, the Power Seal bearings. Uh, majority of the time though, I do like using the Clevite bearings because I've just always used them all through the years. But I have nothing really bad to say about the, the power seal or sealed power bearings. Uh, they've been good as well. And, um, and of course, you know the parts availability right now. You know, you kind of get what you need to get. Also, everybody was asking what kind of oil pump I was going to be running too. Well, we went ahead and spent the extra money and got the milling set up. And this particular kit also comes with the pickup tube. You know, so we want to make sure he's going to have adequate oil pressure all the time. Um, another peace of mind thing, I'd rather spend the extra money to have it. Um, a lot of people are asking about the cam bearings too, because much sludge in there. Uh, would it have been better to change the cam bearings? The cam bearings look great. Um, after I went through there and cleaned everything out, um, they look good. They got really good wear, you know, so... I opted to leave them in there. It's not going to hurt anything. But like I said, 90% of the time, I'm going to leave them in unless there's something really wrong with them. Um, number one, just because they're a pain in the ass. And, you know, nine times out of ten, I'm going to take the block to the shop and have them do it because I'm not going to buy the tool to do it. And uh, But, yeah, she's coming together. And then also everybody's been asking about my engine hoist. What the hell happened to it? Why is there a bend in it? Well, here's the story on the engine hoist. Um, a company I used to work four years ago, flatbed business, they were using to pull Cummins motors out and the motor was hung up. They kept trying to jack it, jack it, jack it, jack it, jack it. And they ended up bending the bar. Now it's a heavy duty hoist and that's why I haven't worried about fixing it because it actually works for what I need it for. And it was free. You know, so hope that answers all those questions on that. So anyway, I'm going to be working on this all day today. Um, I'll probably go to the shop Friday and this weekend to work on Slag Hammer. Um, I did go there yesterday. Um, I cut the hole in the floor for the uh, fuel cell. And... Um, I got to make some brackets up underneath that because of the rule changes and stuff. If you're running a plastic tank, um, the uh, exposed part needs to be boxed in. So I got to box that in underneath the car and uh, get back on that. And um, guys, that's about it right now. I'm going to sit here and continue cleaning and assembly as I go. And it, uh, excuse me. And then hopefully this weekend. I'm going to get this motor in. Uh, we'll do a video on that and we'll do a startup on it. And other than that, guys, I appreciate you staying up with the build. Once again, thanks for y'all's support. Uh, give me a like, share it with your friends. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe. I'm a one man show, so I mean, in time, things will get a little bit better, but doing everything at once, you're going to get what you get. It's me, I'm real, no BS. Other than that, guys, y'all rock, and I'll see you down the road.